When you drive your supercar through the city and approach a busy intersection, you almost certainly will get someone asking that you rev your car for them, which is all part of owning a supercar, right? Right. However, revving a modern generation supercar is a lengthy and complicated process and even sometimes dangerous, which is truly a first world supercar problem. Unlike your traditional three pedal manual supercar, the modern generation car is a lot more complicated to rev. And not only that, is each supercar has its own little unique nuance to it. For example, in the Ferrari, the easiest way to switch into neutral was just to pull both paddles towards you. However, you cannot do that in a McLaren. Let me demonstrate in the McLaren 650S. When I drive this car around in the city, I leave it in auto mode, which is its default setting. Step number one, engage neutral. Step number two, engage your handbrake. Step number three, press the active dynamics button. In auto mode, your revs are limited to 4,000 RPM, and this is something I always forget to do. Step four, run through the process just to make sure that you've done everything correct, because you're relying heavily on the electronics. And finally, step five, rev it up. As you can see, it's a very complicated process just to rev your car. And let's just assume I do everything correct, and you even end up with a great video that you can post to your Instagram account. However, while it might have put a smile on your face, there's a good chance that I may have offended everyone else around you with this vulgar and nasty sound that the McLaren generated, and not because it sounds like a vacuum. And people will assume that I'm just trying to show off, so they'll either insult me and my manhood, or even potentially throw an object at me and it's happened before. Which is why I avoid revving in busy intersections or in the city, and I usually just reserve that for car meets and car events. Thanks for watching guys, until next time.